New at 11, a Canton couple still cannot believe their landlord charged them $1,300 for a new lawn that never grew. It's one of hundreds of complaints about American homes for rent. The company aims to please investors, but as Better Call Harry reports, what about the tenants? American homes for rent. Oh, anybody here? American Homes for Rent does not have an open door policy. Not at its corporate office in Buckhead, where the odds of finding an unhappy tenant hey. are good. Are you an American Homes for Rent customer? I am. Connor Smith says he's been through six property managers. It's a lot. And still can't get his AC repaired. He expected more from a company that's taken in millions of dollars from Wall Street investors. We have a unbelievable uh, group of employees. So we've this is American Homes for Rent CEO David Singelin. His company's stock price is up, but what like about taking stock in his tenants? Um, do they fix anything? <laughs> what do you mean by fix? So as the water was coming up, I'm scooping. I'm Nancy Moss is another American Homes for Rent horror story. When her Lithonia home backflowed with raw sewage and when mold started growing on the walls, her landlord blamed her. In the first uh, roughly 14 months that we were in this house, we spent two months in a Motel 6. And then there's Rick and Jennifer Adkins. Since moving into their Canton home three years ago, they've had a flood. They've had mold. The latest is a $1,300 landscaping bill for grass that never grew. To keep right from being evicted, right the Adkins paid half. I've paid them $74,000 over the last three years. And this is what we have in return. You know, we've been trying to reach you guys a number of times because of the number of complaints we've received. With more than 700 complaints and another 28 just to us, the BBB listened. It issued an alert for a pattern of complaints. And y'all know that people are scamming you guys' homes and y'all not doing nothing about it. Oh, and we almost forgot to mention the evictions. When scam artists figured out how easy it was to access the company's homes, they convinced would-be tenants to wire thousands of dollars and move in. But instead of working out a deal, American Homes for Rent took them to court and kicked them out. Is there anything that American Homes for Rent can do to stop this from happening again? Management won't give an inch evasive answers and no resolutions for the tenants we've tried to help. What I can do is get your information and get it over to our media uh, relations. You have no media relations team because if you do, we they do. don't respond or they're on vacation. I mean, I'm just being honest here. In addition to that, we've called, we've emailed, we've even contacted one of their local attorneys and got nothing. We have, however, reached our sister stations all over the U.S. Because our goal is to spread the word. When you rent, you should get what you pay for. I'm Better Call Harry. The best way to reach me is email bettercallharry at cbs46.com.